dipped chip over the mic. What's up guys, this is GK Cooking back with another episode. Today I'm gonna show y'all my three favorite summer salsas to add a nice colorful flavor to your meal. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button just down below. Smash that subscribe button and let's get this thing rocking and rolling. So salsa number one, this is a verde salsa that I really like to add on a lot of different things. Put it over the top of chicken, throw it over eggs. You can even just serve it with chips as well and it's absolutely delicious. First step, grab yourself a nice big food processor or a blender that we can throw all of our ingredients into. So I have right here about two cups of what I did is like quartered tomatillas. You wanna make sure you get the leaves off the tomatillas as well. So I'm going to dump these in here like this. I have one avocado that I'm gonna get all this uh, this good meat out of as well. We're just gonna drop that in there. Pull your seed out. Boom. Scoop that out just like this. Oh, oh. And I have already cut up two limes. Put a fork in here just like this and twist it around as you're squeezing it. And then we'll make sure to get all of that juice out of there. You don't wanna waste any last. But not least, that's for sure, juicy. Also guys, so I have about eight cloves of garlic here that I'm gonna drop in. I'm a big garlic guy. Also, I'm gonna add in here one quarter cup of just fresh cold water, quarter of a large onion. So just go ahead and throw that in. I like to chunk it up just a little bit. I'm gonna use half of a jalapeno to start. I don't want it to be too spicy. One cool trick actually is to know that the further back on a jalapeno that you get, the spicier it's gonna get because of the seeds. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in the first half of this jalapeno. Only a few seeds in there. Let's go ahead and pop that in. Get a load of that, huh? Get a load of what's in there. I have about a tablespoon of cumin, I have about a tablespoon of my Sicilian blend seasoning, about a teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of lemon pepper, and about a teaspoon of salt. So we're just gonna drop that in just like that. Also, I'm gonna add in here about three tablespoons of olive oil. All right, guys, let's get to blending this up. For me, I love to use my magic bullet. This thing is super great, especially whenever I have a full thing of salsa ingredients. It just pulses it. Check this out, you ready? I'm gonna add in about a quarter of this mango. Get your spoon, get your mango. And then lastly, we have a whole bunch of cilantro here. What's gonna equate to about a cup of cilantro that we're gonna try and blend up in this, so. And now that I got my salsa nice and blended up, I actually really enjoy jarring this up and giving it to my friends. Just as a little like, hey, thanks for everything, you know, kind of, uh, kind of like a little treat. As long as it's sealed up properly, it keeps for a real long time, especially in the fridge. So let's go ahead and get this jarred. You know what I mean? See if I can do this properly. Ready? I'm gonna make a little mess, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with being a little nasty. <laughs> Just enough for us to have a little chips and dip proportion right there. Let's get this all nice and sealed up here. Get some lids, make some look nice, and boom, check these guys out. One down, let's get these other two rocking. All right, y'all, so salsa number two. This one is probably my favorite, honestly. This is gonna be a fresh red salsa. It's very light and fresh, especially for the summertime. So it pairs really well with any kind of roasted veggies, fajitas. It just gives anything that's already a little bit more rich, a very nice light flavor to it. So we're gonna use all fresh ingredients. This one is gonna consist of tomatoes as the primary ingredient. We're gonna drop in about two cups of tomatoes. So for this one as well, we have about eight cloves of garlic, quarter of an onion two limes. Make sure you use your trusty old fork like before. We're gonna add some mango to this one as well. So I'm going to cut, again, I'm gonna use about a quarter of this mango. Oh, look at that, perfect. Set that over there. 
one of my secrets to actually make this one have a really nice fresh flavor to it is we're gonna add a little bit of cucumber. I'm gonna skin our cucumber as well, just to make sure it's a really nice and clean. I'm gonna core this, and just drop this in here as well, just like that. And then I don't want this too spicy, so remember that we're working with the seeded side of our jalapeno now. So I'm gonna add just a little bit to start, and we can always add more if we need to. So I'm also gonna add in here, again, a quarter cup of fresh cold water, as well as three tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a fresh pulse on here, and then we can throw in our seasonings and our cilantro. Boom, perfect. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and add in here about a cup or so of cilantro. See if we can squeeze that in without overflowing this one. So our seasonings on this one are gonna be very, very similar to our Verde Salsa. Um, this one, though, is gonna have just about a teaspoon more of my Sicilian blend seasoning, and then we have about a tablespoon and a half of paprika added to the mix. So dump that in. So let's go ahead and finish up this blend. You ready? Yeah, see that? That's the stuff. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and pour up that salsa roja, otherwise known as just red salsa is what it is. It's really good stuff. Let's go ahead and get this in our jaws. You ready? Oh, yummy. We got a little bit to add in here, too. Boom. Gonna cap these guys off, no problema. Trace E Quattro. Mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all, so salsa number three. This one is a little bit different. We're actually gonna cook this one down. It's gonna have a little bit of a richer flavor tone to it, so we're gonna use a lot more seasonings. I think that this one pairs really well with steak on a burger. It's, again, it's, it's a richer flavor. So anything that already has a nice richness to it, it's gonna complement it extremely well. First things first, we have our hot pan. We're gonna go ahead and add in here about two tablespoons of oil. And since we're already hot, we're gonna go ahead and drop in about eight cloves of garlic again. Drop those in there, as well as about a half of an onion. And so with this one, all of our ingredients are gonna cook down a good amount. So we almost wanna double up the amount of ingredients that we're using, especially the tomatoes, and we're gonna add in a little tomatilla as well. So, for now, let's go ahead and get these rocking and rolling. We're just gonna let these cook down until they're sweating real good, and then we're gonna add in our tomatoes. Hot onions, these things are sweating, let me tell you. All right guys, check these out. So we got our onions and our garlics cooking down real good. We have them nice and sweaty. You can see they're starting to brown up a good amount. Get those out. Oh! Losing a little bit, yeah? So now that we've got these sweating up good, we're gonna go ahead and add in about four tomatillas. So boom, drop those tomatillas in there. We're gonna throw in here, what will equate to about a cup and a half to two cups of tomatoes. The peach is gonna be good to, to cut the spice from the jalapeno, so. Look at that. We're gonna use half of this peach. So I'm actually gonna cut this into a few pieces and we're gonna drop that in here as well get that cooking up I'm gonna use about a quarter cup of white wine so I've got this on about medium heat I'm gonna cap this off and we're gonna cook it down until everything is really nice and sweaty you're gonna notice one of those tomatoes are really nice and soft probably gonna take about 10 minutes or so and then we're gonna come back and blend it all up all right my salsita loving friends our salsa Ingredients have been cooking down now for about 10, 15 minutes or so. This is about what we want it to look like, right? Really nice and cooked down. I'm gonna add all of our ingredients. I don't need to add any water in here at this point. I don't need to add any oil either because of just how watery and soupy this already is. It's gonna do its its own thing whenever we, whenever we blend it. Let me some garlic and onions in the morning, you know what I mean? So this combination that I did is actually the exact combination almost that I did in my Huevos Rancheros video. If you actually wanna check that out, go right ahead. I didn't blend it in that video. We're gonna blend it in this one though. I'm gonna add in here a half of a jalapeno, just chuck that in. Two limes, I wanna make sure it's nice and limey. Delicious. 
Seasonings wise, very similar to our Roja salsa. We're gonna be doing uh, about two tablespoons of cumin on this one. We have a teaspoon of lemon pepper, teaspoon of pepper, teaspoon of salt. I have about a tablespoon and a half of paprika. And then I actually have two tablespoons of my Sicilian blend seasoning. Drop all of that in there. And again, this is gonna be a very rich, very you know flavorful salsa. So we almost doubled up on some of those ingredients. About two thirds of a cup, almost a full cup of cilantro on this one. You know we dangle up in here. Finally, we're gonna blend this up now. You ready for this? One, two, three. Piping jug of salsa right here. And it is time to pour these guys up. Boom, baby. I'm high up. Look at that. Pouring time. That's about the time that we eat all of the chips and dip. You guys probably think I'm crazy. You can't crazy. That's what I should call my show, huh? I'm gonna let these cool down before I store them, so I'm not gonna cap them off quite yet. Te quieres mi salsita. Mmm. Multi salsitas in mi boca ahora. Delicioso. Guys, this has been a great one. I'm so glad that I could share my love for salsa with you guys. Seriously, salsas are one of my favorite things to make. I do plan on having salsas for sale in the future. It's gonna be a little bit of time before that happens. Also guys, I wanna give a shout out on this one to my amazing videographer. She's always behind the camera crushing it. I wanted to say thank you. And uh, she's gonna enjoy some salsa on this one, guys. Thank you again for tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. So excited to share stuff like this with you guys every week. And as always, that is a salsa. <laughs> Just kidding. That is a chop. Mmm, delicioso. Hasta la vista. Later.